So now that I have chlorophyte ore, which is actually, I think it's the best mineral in the game. But once you have chlorophyte ore, you can actually farm it. You can make a farm out of it. The only place chlorophyte ore can be farmed is underground. That's the only place that it is allowed to spread. And the depth it needs to have is at least halfway between the surface and the cavern layer, which is this, uh, which is this rocky background area, I believe. But it's better to farm it in the cavern layer, because it will spread to more blocks. God, that sound freaks me out every time. Alright, so as you can see here, I have built a 9x9 square of mud surrounding one chlorophyte ore in the center. What this will do is allow it to spread throughout the block, allowing me to farm the material. I'm gonna need the climbing claws. Where's my climbing claws? Alright, so I was wrong before. This is the cavern layer, the one with the gray background. Get out of here. Go bat. Get out of here. The gray rocky background is the cavern layer, and that's a better area to farm chloride bars. Now what I need to do is create an area to properly farm it. So, be right back. So, after digging out a secure area within the caverns, I made this little thing right here. Again, they're 9 by 9s and as you can see, it's already starting to spread. And here too. Did that just do it? And I'm going to be doing it uh, 9 by 9 squares as well, just to see how it goes. And that worm should not be able to get me. Alright, so it doesn't grow too fast, as you can see. I completed all the squares. And it's only brought me this much so far. It does have a limit as to how much it can spread throughout a certain area. In the cavern layer and below, chlorophyte can spread to a maximum of 24 blocks within a 38 tile range and 120 and 110 blocks within a 95 tile range. And since this is a 35 by a 35, I don't know, I might get rid of a few blocks here and there over time. God, there's so many bats though. Like, the bad thing about this area is that there's just so many enemy spawns. Yeah, I might not grow as much, but right now I actually have more than when I started out with. I suppose this is also a good place to farm for money. <laughs> Maybe I could expand it a little over here. Maybe then I'll be able to get a little more spawned in. Oh, hi, pirate. Get you out of here. <laughs> Where did I go just now? Hi, bunny. Do that. Perfect. The amount of chlorophyte I need is a lot. It's staggering. So, I'm also going to be building the teleporter system to that as well. Man, I beat all mechanical bosses. I never thought I'd actually get to do that. <laughs> Especially Skeleton Prime. That guy just seemed impossible to me. Yet somehow I managed to do it. Alright, so it was Hero that gave me the idea to use the potions and not rely on wings as much. As well as use the Crystal Storm. Which, I gotta say, that strategy was actually really, really useful to me because I had never actually beaten Skeleton Prime until then. And it's raining, yay. I still haven't gotten the Nimbus Rod from the clouds. I did, however, manage to find a slime statue. So now I have unlimited gel, which is great. Extremely useful. It's not like I was running low or anything, but it's still nice to have an unlimited source of it. Alright, so I'm gonna get ready for Implantera, which is my next boss. 
first I need to set up this whole area. 